Within this video, we're gonna be going through how to use the property matrix to make edits to a lot of actors or a lot of assets. So for this first example, I'm gonna go ahead and use actors that are already in my scene. So in this case, let's go ahead and just say that these roof pieces over here, I want light to come through them. So I'm gonna turn off their ability to cast shadows. So I'm gonna select one here. I'm gonna go ahead and hold shift, select this other corner one here. And I do need to remember that this one is a different actor right here. So I'll shift, select that one. Now what I'm gonna do is hit shift E as an echo, and that will select all of these similar actors. So I get all of my roof pieces here. So with all of these selected, I'm gonna go over to my details panel and I'm gonna click this little button right here. This is my properties matrix. Now you can see that I have all of my actors over here on the left-hand side and on the right side, I have all of their details. So specifically to go ahead and turn off the shadow casting ability, I'm gonna drill down inside of my static mesh actors and keep going down until I find my lighting. And in here, if I open this up just a little bit, you can see that down here at the very bottom, we have our cast shadows. And you can see that it is currently toggled on. So let's go ahead and turn my camera just a little bit so we can actually see this change. And if I turn this off, you can see, huzzah, now light actually goes through all of these. So this is a real simple example, but you can see there are a lot of options that are down inside of here that can be very, very helpful. When it comes to using the property matrix with an asset, it's a little bit different, but very similar. So let's go ahead and open up the content drawer because this is where our assets actually exist. And in this case, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is use these three blueprints right here. So to get to the property matrix with these, just right click on them, come down here to asset actions, and then go ahead and choose the bulk edit via property matrix. In this case, you can see we have all three of our blueprints in here. Now in this case, I wanna turn the tick off for these because they're really just being used for background things and I don't have any kind of code running in them. So to save a little bit on the CPU, I can go ahead and turn that tick off. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the property editor over here on the right because we already talked about this display tab. So with this one, you'll actually see something that looks very similar to what you're used to inside of the blueprints or any other details that you happen to have. So in this case, I can go ahead and come over here and just set the start tick with enabled. You can see it's already off, but if I needed to turn it back on, I can do it right here. And this will actually edit all of these. So there you have it. Now you can see how you can use the property matrix to alter a lot of assets or actors within your world very, very quickly without having to go into each one of them individually and check just those little tiny checkboxes. So save your interns a little bit of time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up, go ahead and just leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you when I can.